Uh, we farm, there's about uh, 2,500 acres that we farm. That's tillable and we plant corn, wheat, oats, barley, and sunflowers. sunflowers. Farm Rescue's planting our wheat. Do 900 acres for us. Cattle, we run uh, black cattle, red Charlay bulls, and we got about 400 cows that we run. It's my folks' family farm, and we've been married 27 years, so you've so. been here, almost 27 years, so you've been here, what, about 29 years? Yeah. We had a heifer calf early in the morning, and it was real cold, so I got the calf in and come and got her and Kathy, and we was trying to get her in. In this one spot, there's a big manure pile, and I ran over top and never slowed down. I was trying to cut her off, and must have tripped on the frozen cow turd or something, and next thing I know, I was laying on the ground. I tried to get up and couldn't get up, and finally I stretched my leg out and I could heard the bone crunch, and so I knew I broke my leg. Down. It broke both bones, the tib and the fib. And they also found the last doctor's appointment that he had a third break on the top of his foot that they hadn't noticed the first time, but it was healing. So. <laughs> You're not supposed to lift anything yet, are you? They never said anything about that. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> what he does and what he's supposed to do, um, this is the guy that broke his crutch yesterday while they were loading so. the, tr the, the drills because he had his crutch leaning against the truck because he had to be in the middle of it. So, <laughs> so. And stuff, uh, right now, doing therapy twice a week and they're kind of winning me off the crutches and I'm about 75% are weight bearing. I go back to the doctor May 16th and hopefully they'll say I don't need the crutches and and stuff but I'll probably still have to have a ankle brace on to support. He broke his other leg 12 years ago and I can guarantee you that he's not gonna be out walking in that stubble field, so. thinking he can do everything he thinks he should do for a while yet. Joe heard about farm rescue through Southwest Grain, but with what we were going through, quite frankly, worrying about the cows was a priority at the time. You know, the farming seemed like it was a long ways out and we'd handle that as time went on. I'm on the Southwest Grain board, producer board, and there's 10 members on the board. We donate to Farm Rescue about $10,000 every year. They have donated to some of the hospital so, yes. building projects also, haven't they? Yeah, I never ever thought that I would be a recipient of Farm Rescue. It seemed like a real nice uh, deal to donate to and stuff. We donate every year and, and when this happened, I never really thought about calling Farm Rescue and kind of had our pride. And um, we had a neighbor guy that mentioned to us about Farm Rescue and I also had a friend that emailed me about Farm Rescue and, and it was like, yeah, okay, that's great, but we're busy with cows right now. And the friend's dad actually printed the, the forms out and our friend brought them, our neighbor brought them over, friend and neighbor, and said, you know, here you need to fill them out. And Joe said, I'm not filling them out, I don't, you know, we'll get by. And he said, if you don't fill them out, I will. And so then Joe's like, all right, I'll fill them yeah. out. And, and so we filled them out and, and that's, went from there. Filling out the farm rescue application was very simple to do. It just, like Joe said, was a matter of the pride more than anything. You think you can do things yourself and you hate to ask for help. As far as the application went, it couldn't have been any easier. The one thing that the application asked for that stands out in my mind was they needed our um, financial application or our financial um, statement and how, what the acreage was that we were going to be planting. And the crops we was gonna plant and 
and if they didn't come, how we would get the work done without them was another th question that they had. I would encourage any farmer that even if they don't think that they qualify, now that we're you know aware of what it involves, what farm rescue involves in that, I would be probably one of the first ones to print the application off and mail it to them, deliver it to them, tell them what an awesome group it is to work with and how we wouldn't have gotten this farming done without them. Even if they don't think that they qualify, that they should fill the application out and at least give it a shot and see if they would qualify to be one of the farm rescue families. The volunteers are an awesome trio and we are enjoying every moment of having them around. Uh, we met Charlie, Jean, and Warren. They're doing an awesome job. It's very generous of RDO to donate the equipment the way they do. It couldn't be done without a sponsor as big as what they seem to be.